Crack the ceiling, then I pour up the lean. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Pack of woods and then I roll up the tree. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good, 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 good. Crack the hen and then I pour it up. Then I drink it up. Never throw it up. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good. Make the money, then I count it up. Then I wrap it up. Go and put it up. I'm feeling good today. Good. I'm feeling so damn good. Drink the medicine is. Hello, friends, and welcome back. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing excellent. How you doing? All right. So, what's today's topic? All right, but first, don't you want to let the people at home know about your wig? Oh, yeah. My wig is from AC Wigs. Make sure y'all check. You can find them on Amazon and also AliExpress. And Instagram. And Instagram. <laughs> you have to unlock your iPhone in order to find AC Wigs. Make sure y'all go follow them on Instagram if y'all like my wig. Okay. So, today's topic is... Will a threesome hurt your relationship pretty interesting and and for those people who don't believe in this kind of thing um, just mute the sound <laughs> just let the video play it thumbs up <laughs> yeah just look at our beautiful faces and let the video play um, this video was requested but don't listen to it Yes, 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 yes. So, Hannah, what yes, you think y'all. about it? What you think about this? I used to not think that it would ruin a relationship, but nowadays, it would definitely ruin your relationship. Really? Really. <laughs> wow. Um. You know, people, women, women or men, I don't know, like. I'm going to say women because I'm a woman you're a man. So okay. that's what we deal with. Um, women, can't, they, don't, they don't know their positions nowadays. <laughs> they don't know their position? No. Hmm. Don't you agree? No. Like, she's confused. I don't agree. She, if, we, if we have a threesome, women, that like, now they, like, you be, the wife becomes a sad chick. Like, no, I'm not the side chick. You the side chick. You know what? You know what? I, I've i heard of a lot of horror stories from people. Um, well, people that's pretty open um, about stuff like that. And I've heard some horror stories. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You only hear about the horror stories. You don't hear about the situations that went good yeah, or that's great, going good. I've had some great situations. I'm, but I'm just saying, as a whole, if you took 10 people, right, I think in my, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just assuming. But I think if you took 10 people that all had threesomes, you would only hear about the horror stories of them. You won't hear about the situation that was, you know, that that worked out pretty well. I don't think so. So I, I think that just scares people away. I think, um, like, uh, <sighs> women, <laughs> like you said, it, it just <sighs> okay. Let me say this. First of all, I'm not condoning threesomes in any relationship right I'm not condoning it I'm not saying I'm against it what I will say is that it is not for everyone and I think that's the problem I think some people think like ooh this is something I want to do and then when it comes down to it it sounds good right the thought in your head or the fantasy that you had in your head sound good 
But the minute, you know, it becomes a reality, then a lot of stuff sets in, like insecurities and, you know, just stupidness, I think. Will he will he fall in love with her after? Will he go with her instead of me? You know. Will she try to kill me after we get Yeah. Done? And if, if it was a man, will he now go with that man after? You mean will she? <laughs> no, I'm talking about he. What? what, what? <laughs> Look, it ain't necessarily. Oh, it, oh my God. It ain't got necessarily Look. be two women and a, and a man. I you know, you. it could be two men and a woman. I don't know. I, I don't know. It could be three women. Could be three men. Okay, I have a question. Just saying. Um, do you think that it can ruin, ruin a relationship? Oh, most definitely, most definitely, it can. In what way? It can go bad in so many ways. Uh, like you said, it could. You could have a threesome, and then they start creeping together on the side. Oh yeah, and then, yep. Or you could have a threesome, and you start creeping. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. either party, either party. Um can start creeping with the, the person now, that you had a threesome with or um it could be like you know what i seen i seen an episode of divorce court where the girl had the girl and her partner had a threesome and it was something that she initiated it's something that she wanted to do right she pressed the issue and then afterward, she was so self-conscious about every single thing. And he was like, he was so like upset that he, he agreed to it because he was like, if she was going to act did like it, this. She did it because she felt like it was going to make him happy. So that's another point. Do you think a threesome will bring you closer together as a couple? Do I? No, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. No, no, I, I don't. Again, it's not for everybody. You know, it's like everybody don't like the taste of beer. You know, like it's not for everybody. Everybody don't do the same thing. Um, only if you and your partner are, I guess, into that kind of thing, right? I guess that's a good way to say it. Mm-hmm. If you're into that kind of thing, um, it should be no problem, right? It should be no problem. But if you are in any kind of way a jealous individual, it's a no. If you are in any kind of way a self-conscious individual, it's a no. If you are in any way... um, a person that believes their partner is already cheating or will cheat, it's a no. Like you, you that's have to another know. thing. Women always think that, like, well, if I have a threesome, he's not gonna cheat. But then you find out that he's cheating with the girl that y'all, or he's or she's sleeping with the girl that y'all messing with. I mean, you know, that y'all the threesome with. You know, my the problem to me is what is okay first of all before you do anything like that you need to have a conversation you need to know how how, the how should the conversation feels. go hmm? how should this conversation go i want to have a threesome that's how it should start that's how it should start okay. i think you have to be you have to be a certain kind of person um in order to you know, do certain stuff in your relationship. Um, I'm not saying you have to be a perfect person, but one, you have to be an open person. You have to be open. And you can't have, you can't let fear, right? You can't let the fear of stuff you can't control. You can't let the fear of stuff that you can't control um, destroy you. Because to me, that's like one of the biggest things that can hurt your relationship. The fear of what can happen if you do it. And what people don't understand is the same thing can happen if you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it doesn't matter. 
um, that's just one thing. I think another thing is like you said, you know, it getting out of hand. Mm. You know, <laughs> you look. <looking, laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I I can't. <sighs> I mean, I think. I, I can see, you know, a person, a couple, having a threesome if they went to, like... Another country or something. Yeah, another country. <laughs> why? What, what, why? What, you, what you worried about? Why, why do you have to go all the way to another country? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about in general. I'm no, I, I, I'm not I can, seeing... I can see a couple going out, having a good time, having, like, going to, like, um, Puerto Rico or... When I say or, you... I mean, in general, just I'm like you talking. Maybe, maybe she, maybe the woman does not want to deal with the woman again. Like maybe it's a one-time thing. So if you go on vacation, hey, let's have a threesome while we're here in Cancun or so India. You're saying that maybe that person don't want to deal with that person again, right? Or maybe she don't want the way to know. Maybe she don't want nobody to know that she did this with her husband. So what better way to well, do it? I mean, it's it ain't nobody. I mean, I mean, people talk. If you have a threesome with a random person on the street, so <laughs> listen. I get what you're saying, but I I think that still falls in the category of fear. Right. I'm saying, you, you saying but, but, I don't want to deal but, with this person. No, I'm no. Well, like, really, that's what so, I'm saying, Mister Right, is that maybe maybe she is okay with having the things when she's comfortable, she's secure with it, but not in her hometown. <laughs> I don't care how you trying to reword that. It's the same thing. It's not. It's still fear. You it's fear. Not fear. You well, fear she, of. She's ask scared. me again. Ask she, me what you. Well, ask me what she's scared she of. She don't fear nothing. She just don't want to deal with this coming back to her. Fear, <laughs> like I just said, fear. What's gonna come back to haunt you? I don't know. If I'm gonna come back to haunt you, why do it? Right? No. If you worried about something coming back to haunt you. She Why might be a really it? high power force attorney, and she don't want nobody to know that she and her husband have a threesome. Why not just go out the country and do it? It like, ain't why? nobody's business. But people, I mean, stuff happens. People find out things all the time. Just like celebrities. They, you can people, go out the country and it happens and people saying, find out. But how likely is it that you live in a small town in Mississippi and you go to... We have the internet. It is more than like. Okay, you win. No, I, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, it it's still fear. If you are gonna be scared, if not it's scared, not fear. if you're gonna worry, that's what I'm gonna say. It is. Bro. I'm not gonna say worry. Either. I'm gonna say either what you we call either it? we gonna do it out here. We're not gonna do it at all. So she like, well, let's go out here and and have a threesome out in another country or in the middle of the ocean. I'm I'm still lost on this. I mean, it doesn't matter. What what is what are you scared of? You could do it in your own house, in your own bedroom. What I mean, what's now the chick knowing you? The now the side See, chick knowing you again. live. She it, don't want no one to know anything that happened. Here we oh, go sorry. again. Here we go again. With the fear, fear factor. It's not fear. She don't want her business out there. It's it's fear again. If if you are scared, go buy a dog. Go buy a dog. All I'm saying is, you not built for this. If you gotta, if you gotta say, and this is general. If somebody has to say. Well, the only way I'm going to do it if 
we're out of town and we're in couples the middle of the go ocean out. Couples in the go, boat. Couples and then go I got to be drunk all out my mind no, I ain't saying with a this. bunch of people around me that don't you, speak now you put my language. The, now you put all this stuff into, into it. I'm just I'm, saying, that's, that's, people, that's, it couples, might as well be that. Couples go out of town all the time and have the affairs and threesomes. And couples stay in their own town, in their own home, and do the same thing. What's the difference? What I'm saying is, like the point you just made, and you said, if maybe that person don't want nobody to know, maybe they said, well, we can only do it if we go out on vacation, right? What I'm saying is, that's fear. I don't think that's fear. That's fear. I don't think it's you fear. shouldn't be doing it. If you're gonna give me all these stipulations it's on not a what what we it is, it's not. it is. It's just like saying you can't do it this way. You got to do it that way. You got to be looking a certain direction. You know, if you about to give me all these stipulations, you shouldn't be doing. So it. why do men cheat? Because it's saying y'all, you that's what you do too. If you cheating on some, on the woman. Then you going out and you can't come here. You can't go this way. You can't go over there. Same thing. Correct? No. What? Listen. Listen. We, you gave a scenario that mm -hmm. potentially, let's say, maybe the person. Is a lawyer. Let's say, it's a, let's say, let's say she is a vice president of a huge company. Okay. And then she has a threesome here in her hometown. And then the woman or the man sees the couple that they have a threesome with. And they try to um, embezzle money from them. You mean blackmail? Blackmail, yeah. Blackmail. You mean blackmail? Now what? Now if you went, if you went to... If you went how to, you going to blackmail? If you was, how you not? How you going to blackmail? How you can't? What you mean? How you how you gonna blackmail me? You what you gonna blackmail me with? Tell everybody did. Hey, I had to go ahead. Some... Okay, so go ahead. Your word against mine. What proof you got? I got pictures. Oh well. Listen, listen. I know, I know. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I know we live in a world where you have to be leery of um, what people do and say and who you deal with. I understand that. Right? I understand you have to pick and choose the people that you deal with. Period. On any basis. On just, just being friends. I understand that. What I'm saying is if you're going to do a situation like that, you can't put up all these you can't give me all these different um, rules that we have to go abide by in order to do this. Because if you give me all these rules and said, we can only be here, it can only be this way, it can only be that person, it can only be this, that, that, that. There's no point for us to do it. You just killed the whole fun in it. You know what I mean? You just killed the whole fun in it. It's like a drill sergeant. You just killed everything and you just killed the whole point. Whatever you say. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. I'll put it to you like that. That's how I see it. Um, again, the whole thing was, will it hurt your relationship? Right? Sometimes it can, sometimes it can't. Right, and, and I, I mean, do agree. I, I, I mean, wait. I don't so say not necessarily. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Go ahead. Right. And, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think that necessarily if you do it, it's going to guarantee hurt your relationship. I don't think that at all. I don't think that. I think it depends on the people. I think sometimes people can't handle it. I think sometimes uh, it just it just goes bad. Like sometimes you one person has a different perception of what it is than the other person is. Like, everybody what, got different thoughts. What do you do when your partner dip off with the side chick or side man? 
Like I'm gonna be upset. Like y'all, y'all, this is what y'all do on a regular basis. But now he or she is now doing it without you. I'm gonna be upset. But I don't. I don't believe in tick for tack. I don't believe in tick for tack. Like some people. <laughs> I'd be upset. I would. I would be upset. Um, I don't know if it's like worth having a conversation over, you know, because it might be too late. You know, I. The real question is, if that happens and your partner um, dips off with the other person, right, and you break up right Mm -hmm. does that discourage you from doing it again with somebody else maybe or maybe not that's the real question it could but or you might get lucky and find somebody that's like really cool and all about you and just wanted to make you happy let me ask you this let me ask you this question um overall overall picture looking at most women do you think if you were ever ever in that situation, it would discourage you? Let's just look at most people. Let's not, you know, let's look at majority. Yeah, yeah. But it would discourage yeah, you from it doing it. Mm-hmm. Unless you just find you a bad chick and you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'm just saying because it, see, again, I'm not trying to say this is something that you should do in your relationship. I'm not trying to say this is something that you shouldn't do. I say it's your choice. But I I think, like anything, it's like riding a bike. (laughs) You know, you go ride a bike for the first time, you crash, you fall. What you do, you get up, you get back on the bike, you ride again. You fall again, you get back up, ride again. You know, you don't do something and something bad happens. Well, not not even bad. Let's something that happens that's beyond your control, right? Because that's that's a big issue with me in life, and and a, a lot of things I that definitely, go on in I my definitely life think, and that I see I definitely think other if, people. I definitely think if, if a woman got cheated on with they partner that they have a threesome with. It's definitely going to discourage her. But for a man, it's not going to do that because y'all just want some booty whenever y'all want booty. It's not. (laughs) No, I'm not going to say that. No, I would never say that because (laughs) there are, I mean, men get traumatized too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, you you and your wife, you know, do something like that. And then next thing you know, your wife is dipping out because of it. Or maybe she... Whatever, whatever. I ain't gonna say she's doing that's, it before. That's no. But I'm just saying, yeah, that that'll hurt any man. Most men will tell you like, oh yeah, whatever. You know, I don't care. Yeah, you care if it's somebody you married to and you've been together for a while. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. That human nature is gonna hurt. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, I'm not doing now. I mean, I'm, we suck it up and be like, all right, whatever. On to the next. I'm not gonna say on to the next. I'm not having to think soon because I'm jealous um um insecure um all those things lies lies so she ain't if, none of if we're not going to the indian ocean it's not happening over here are you talking about you now i uh, know <laughs> 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 not me oh okay who else my else yeah i don't know you sound like you talk about you for a minute i'm like huh oh, okay mm-hmm. i i just listen i ain't got no problem I don't, I don't have no problem with it. I'm not a jealous person. Um, them days is long gone. But I am jealous. I feel like, I feel like. I am jealous. If I feel like you looking at her too long, or if you are give her more attention, it's gonna be a problem. See, then you can't do it. That's all I just told you. Then you just can't do it. You know what I mean? However, comma, if we went to another state or city. Again, it sounds like you've been talking about you this whole time. That's what it sounds like. No, I don't do I don't do, I don't, I don't do those things. Okay. Anymore. I'm what? 
<laughs> what? Anyway, y'all, this is gonna be the end of the video. You done? How you gonna say this is gonna be the end of the video? <laughs> the turn to me say you done? Cause you know you might have something else to add. No. Well, according to you, I don't have nothing else to add. We ain't out in the middle of the, the <laughs> Lake Michigan or somewhere, in the middle of nowhere. What? For all you jealous women, for all you jealous women that sit and say, I wouldn't be doing nothing like that because I don't want my man showing more attention to that person. He's cheating anyway. I just want to say to all you he's women, cheating anyway. it's okay. Because he's cheating anyway. No, no. What I'm saying is it's because okay. He have, because he have a late night conversation. No, it's it's not wrong that you feel that way. I'm just gonna say because he's in that money okay. and gifts. What I will say is, maybe a threesome is not for you. Yeah, it's not for us. It's not for you. It's not for us. It's not for nobody. So, um, again, make sure <laughs> lies. It's for a lot of people. <laughs> Don't put my name in it. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Make sure y'all leave y'all comments and thoughts below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video and we'll see you in the next video if you want to have a threesome check one if you don't like threesomes check two okay no no <laughs> comment <laughs> Drink the medicine and spit the flu. Pour up yellow, same color Pikachu. Get a touch and got a nigga bustin'. Pour a whole pint in a bowl of fruit. Then let it soak in with the vodka. Pour a line in a pina colada. By the end of the day, I done emptied the bottle. I'm cool in the cooler.